Hi there. Today I have a small bottle hack for you. I'm going to show you how to build a paint sprayer out of a plastic bottle, a couple straws, and some pipe. This paint sprayer requires some sort of air supply. Now I designed it to use with a shop vac, but you could use an air compressor or even a mattress inflator. For this project you're going to need two plastic bottles, two sections of one and a quarter inch PVC pipe that are about six inches long, a bubble tea straw or tapioca straw, and a standard size straw. And depending on the viscosity of your paint you could use a coffee stirrer and a standard size straw. The neck is about one inch wide so we're going to put a notch in this pipe and it's going to act as a holder for the bottle. It's better to have the notch slightly undersized. This way the plastic can flex and tightly hold the bottle. I'm making the notch about two inches deep. Next I'm going to measure the width at the taper so I can cut another notch here. Let's see. So now I have a bottle holder. It should also fit larger bottles. I have to squish them. Next, we're going to convert the bottle into a paint sprayer. You want to drill a hole near the edge of the bottle lip. And you want to insert this straw. So let's widen the hole. Okay. So you only want the straw to stick in a little bit. You're going to cut the straw at a 45 degree angle. Now, you want to have the 45 degree face the inside. Like that. The 45 degree angle facing the inside allows the air to disperse the paint and aerosolize it a little bit better. Next, you want to attach the tapioca straw. Generally, they come with already a 45 degree angle. So what we're going to do is glue this just like that. The straw should stick in about so it's almost touching the top. Now we start building the part that adapts the shop vac to the paint sprayer. It also serves as a handle.
This will adapt the, the shop vac onto the straw. For this, I'm going to use a really long screw. You could also use duct tape. I'm going to add another screw. To keep the bottle in place, I just use a rubber band. So here's how you set it up. First you fill the bottle with the paint that you like, then you attach the nozzle. Then you insert it into the handle. I used a little electrical tape to make a better fitting to the adapter. And then secure it with a rubber band. Okay, so what I have here is my shop vac, and on the end, I duct taped a piece of pipe with a one and a quarter inch pipe coupler. This is gonna fit onto our paint sprayer. Now, to control the feed rate of the paint, I tip the whole paint sprayer upside down and I let the paint drip down into the nozzle, and I'm gonna give the bottle a light squeeze. That's how I'm gonna control the paint. And to turn it off, I just flip it back up, right up like this. One thing to note also is that you want to make sure your shop vac is nice and clean, otherwise you're going to shoot dust all into your paint. The paint I used is 100% acrylic latex. All I did was stir it up to make sure it was consistent and put it in this bottle. I don't particularly like this color, so that's why I'm using it for testing. Alright, let's test it out. Seems to work pretty well. Remember to attach the paint sprayer to the output side of the shop vac and not to the suction side.